Hi everybody, my name is Shelly. Welcome to the bookshop. Today I have a quick little share. Um, I made my sister a little birthday envelope type gift thing. Now this idea comes from Cat Crafty Cat. It's a fairly new video a few days ago, but I will link it in the description box below. She originally made hers with um, a flyer that she got in the mail, but she did go to the trouble to figure out how the rest of us who don't have this flyer could make it using two envelopes. And basically, you take just two envelopes, the same size, you trim off just a little sliver off of each end so that you can open them up like this and then you glue the flap of one to the other envelope and then you have this it's got one two three sections this last section i keep wanting to call it a trifold <laughs> she cut this off this right here she cut it right there now I didn't cut that off I cut off right here and over here leaving this small section for a pocket so that's how simple it is it's so easy to make these little envelopes I'm quite addicted here's one that hasn't been decorated but I collaged it and then this is what they look like isn't it cute and see this is the piece that I left that she cut off I left it to make a pocket and she also cut a slit in this middle section right here so that when it's closed she could tuck the flap in for a closure I used a magnet so that's an undecorated one and then this is the one that i made for my sister so it's got i've just collaged the base part of it used the same this is decoupage a little napkin and then these labels i'm making hey my little baby dog is making noises because he wants to play. I cut these from a book. These are the chapter pages where a new chapter starts. And this book had like 60 of them, lots of one page chapters. And it had a lot of white space when the one chapter ended and the next one began. So I cut these out and then I used my scallop type scissors and went around. I was originally thinking of making like postage stamps, but then I made this and I actually made a little postage stamp on it. And see, there's the number from the chapter. And I just thought they were made really cute labels, especially for these envelope type things I just thought they were a perfect match so anyway I added some heavily coffee dyed lace across the bottom a little stamp that says I love you or I miss you uh, she lives quite a ways away and I haven't seen her for a couple of years this butterfly was done on glitter paper so it's all shiny but then you flip it over and it does have the magnetic closure and we're going to open it up this first page this is one of those tim holtz slots they're called and it has a ton it holds a ton now it can be hard to put this many tags in this thing but what i did and you can kind of tell how loose it is is I took my um, whatever you call this thing and I put it like that and then I put the slots glued it down over it so it gave it that extra space 
all these tags that I have in here, I actually put five or six more in and um, probably could have put more. So, I mean, it, it'll actually hold like 20 tags. But yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna sit here and, well, maybe I will. There's uh, the little mason jar. Those come from a die cut. And sometimes you gotta pick that up to get them tucked in. Okay, and then I used a, one of those cute little spiral paper clips. Okay, let's. Over here, I did the doily pocket. That's kind of a signature. I do one in every journal I make. And again, it's just stuffed. Because this isn't a writing journal, I put probably 40 tags in it for writing. And all the tags I made, except for these, I think, these are some Tsunami Rose. And everything is coffee dyed. These I made from some scrapbook paper. They match these. Uh, her favorite color, I think, is purple. <clears throat> when I started to, <coughs> excuse me, put this together, I started realizing, you know, I wasn't sure when we were young her favorite color was purple, so I hope it still is. I decoupaged on some napkins on some of these purple tags. And then these, these are actually paper from, um, I believe, Hope and Faith Designs. And I put three of those in here for some variety and they have the pretty butterfly. And then I made these with some some labels that I made, uh, some butterflies, and then another just piece of scrapbook paper. This is um, avocado dyed. There's two or three tags with the avocado dyed paper, but most of them are backed either with coffee dyed paper or blackberry. And I think, yeah, this is all coffee dyed and a couple avocado dyed, but there's a bunch of stuff with this purple on the back. That's all been done with um, blackberry juice. Last year, I did a large batch of blackberry dyeing, and this is actually some of the lightest purple. I chose this to back it with so you can right on it easily but i've got some really pretty dark purple so then we flip this open and there's two more sections this one has a little fan it says i wish you a happy birthday this piece here comes from the graphics fairy and then i just made a little notebook this uh paper bag um I believe I got the inspiration for this. Uh, I th think she might have done a tutorial on how to make these. Uh, it's a little paper bag, basically. And I got it from uh, Shabby Dabby Doodah. She has a tutorial. I thought I had another one. Anyway, this is just a little notebook with some, see this is the blackberry dyed paper. There is a lot of paper in here, blank paper. So she will have some writing space. And then some more, another um, doily pocket, some little tags, a little envelope and a little birthday, happy birthday greetings in the back. There's another pocket with some of Tsunami Rose tags. And in the middle, the ties have some charms. Some special charms for my sister and her husband, actually. One of those is a hope charm with the cancer ribbon, which he's doing Pretty good right now from what she told me okay so this little booklet 
this has um, pictures old old pictures you can tell how old these pictures are but that's my me my this is my little sister that's who it's for my older sister and my brother who's no longer with me and then my sisters and my mom she's also gone and then some very old you can see we're wearing headbands here <laughs> these pictures are from like the 70s and I like this little, what I did on the pocket. I cut a piece of scrapbook paper with a cute design and then I split it. So that even when there's something in here, you still have the cute little bird standing on the thimble. And then this cute, I love these little fancy paper clips. This is just to keep this closed. And then we saw the Tim Holtz piece here and then on oh that's it i was thinking there was another section okay well i think that's the magnet section and i'm thinking about putting this little purple button on there and i was wondering about a tag here anyway i got to get it in the mail so that's why i wanted to just do a quick flip through and show everybody this idea you go to crafty cat and you can see how to make it in detail but like i said two envelopes split open on the side and glued together and that's it i just collaged paper onto them to make them thicker and stronger and then sewed all around the edge so if that's an idea you can try too anyway it's been a while since i did a video trying to jump back in with something easy and quick so Hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.